Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 15th. Okay, now keep in mind that not every reading is for you, so this reading may or may not be for you. Okay, so keep that in mind. I, I think I'm going to use this deck right here. So... Timing is fluid. That means this, this could play out in the next few days. That's the way I usually see it, but, you know, it is what it is. What do we have for a message today? Temperance reversed. So it starts off on a moody note. Frustrating. Frustration starts off probably out of balance. There's a there's a lack of ease. So it may start off on a rocky note with the temperance reversed. This is like a daily message, right? So temperance reversed. Uneasy. This isn't easy. There's something that is off. This is unable to cooperate, unwilling to cooperate. Uh inflexible uh, something's going on here judgment judgment so judgment is a card of acceptance it's a card of forgiveness it's a card of release truth making a judgment call a wake-up call an epiphany getting some sort of an epiphany waking up somebody may have a hard time waking up just saying maybe be hard to get out of bed in the morning just saying because judgment is about waking up. It's a wake up call. And temperance is this isn't easy. So that, that's just a random message. It's not easy to get up in the morning. It's not easy to wake up or whatever. It's, there could be some uneasy truth that is coming out as well. It could be frustrating. Um, judgment. Judgment is a life changing decision or it's just a decision. It's a final decision. A decision is being made. Something is off. It's not easy, whatever it is. It's probably an uneasy decision. You know? Judgment is the end of a trial, so it's come to a, coming to a verdict. Being judged, ready to be judged. Somebody's about to be judged in some way, or they're going to be judged. They're passing judgment. think it is death death card death reversed now I'm not sure what is going on here but uh, death reverse can be a near-death experience okay it can be a near-death experience it, it could be the end of something this this is this is holding on is getting old it is there is a need to release with judgment there's a need to accept Okay, you just need to accept the truth. We have somebody here. This the death card reverse could be well the temperance reverse, something is off. These are all majors too. There's karma here. We have a karmic ending here. Death and judgment. Death is an ending. We have a karmic ending. All majors universally driven. The universe is in control. Somebody is repeating negative patterns with the with the temperance reversed. They are unwilling to accept that something is over. You know, uh, death comes before temperance, but somebody is holding on to the something that is over, and it's getting old. There's no coming together. There's no renewal with temperance reversed. But somebody is holding on. They're holding because that's the death reverse. It's time to release. It really is. It's time to accept and forgive and release and whatever that is. Um, there could be some poor health here. We may have somebody that is, is, I don't know if we have some addictions. There could be a death here. Temperance reversed is, is addictions, extreme going overboard somebody may be going over maybe they've got gone overboard and they're about to be judged 
uh, yeah, unwilling to accept change because death is a card of change. We have somebody here that's unwilling to accept. If these cards are totally the truth here, and that is the truth with the judgment card. Temperance is about acceptance, so isn't the judgment. Death is change. Unwilling to accept change. Now, unwilling to accept that this is over because death is over. I feel like something has already happened. It's time to uh, be held accountable for something or to be judged or something like that. There is some sort of judgment call that is being made. There could be some truth that is coming out. I don't know if it's about a death that has already happened. Somebody could, or it's going to happening. I don't know. Somebody could end up in court as well. Uh, temperance reversed. Profound self-healing is needed. Somebody needs to heal. Healing is definitely needed. needed. There's no doubt about it. We have somebody here that is resisting change. Temperance and death reversed. They are resisting change. But there is a decision. This is a life-changing decision that is being made with the judgment card. That is, a, that is the truth. That is accepting the truth. Is seeing the truth. Ready to be judged. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready for some truth to come out. That may make you feel uneasy. May make you frustrated. You know, I, you know, it's funny. I mean, it's not funny. But I was in, I was doing something today. I can't remember what I was doing. Oh, I went grocery shopping, and I was on my way home. And I have this cancer that keeps commenting on my co on my uh, comments. She comments religiously. I think her name is begins with W. And um, you're La La Land, honey. So I just thought I'd let you know you're wasting your time. You think you think you're totally got the picture backwards. Every time I see you comment, I cringe. Just saying. You you are unwilling to accept the truth. So anyway, I just and I and I and I tried to push that out of my head, and I tried to push it out. I've tried. It's been going on for a long time now. I've wanted to tell this cancer woman she's with another cancer she's totally in denial of the whole situation now I've told you anyhow um, judgment judgment is a card of release except somebody has been holding on unwilling to accept hoping for a reconciliation judgment judgment card judgment Judgment is being passed on something that has ended. There's no coming back together. Accept it. Whatever that means. And I don't know who that is for. That's, that's for the collective. Strength. Another major. This is all universe. There's a need to restrain, restrain and have strength and courage and confidence and willpower to let go. The strength is a card of letting go. It's letting go. Letting go of fear, letting go of pride, mastering emotions. Somebody is about to be judged and it may even have to do with ego here. We have somebody here that is unwilling to accept something and maybe it's because they're in their ego because strength is a card of ego. There's no coming back together except that it's over. Could be dealing with a Leo, could be dealing with a Scorpio, could be dealing with a Sagittarius. We, need, we have somebody here that needs to find their inner strength to see the truth, 
to accept the truth and stop repeating the negative patterns. Somebody's going to need to reframe themselves in some way with the, t with the strength card. It takes, it takes strength to, you know, um, I feel like it's step back. Something is going to happen where somebody needs to be strong, put it that way. There's some sort of truth that is going to come out that is going to make them probably upset with temperance reversed because whatever this truth is with judgment that is coming out there's been there's been like refusal with the death card re refusing to accept that it's over you know refusing it's just there's total total refusal here there's a need to accept Knight of Wands on the bottom. Knight of Wands is act now, think later. There, there could be an arrival here. We may have somebody that is that is, make taking action. They're doing something. This is somebody that is fierce. We might have somebody here that is making a fierce approach, doing something very passionate with the Knight of Wands, coming in fast. This person is taking action right now. Somebody is, there could be somebody from the past as well, but it, I don't think it's the one that, you think it is, put it that way, because of my, I'm going off at what my previous readings. This is not who you think it is. I feel like there is, there is somebody from the past here because, well their past is in this reading. The judgment card is a card of past. There's past life karma here as well, but anyhow, we have to we have somebody here that in, that is clinging to the past. They are refusing to accept change. They're struggling. They're really, really struggling, but there is some sort of ending here with judgment, because that's the final verdict. It's the final judgment call, you know. When, We have somebody here that is ready to be judged. They're ready, they're ready for something. I feel like we, we haven't we have an arrival here or somebody that is doing something. They're taking action right now. They are they may be uh making some sort of approach or advance or something like that. We have somebody here that is about to do something very passionate. It could be passionate love, could be passionate hate with the Knight of Wands. Three of Wands, get prepared for an arrival. There we go. Get prepared for an arrival, get prepared. Something is coming, uh, something you've been waiting for. Or not, it may not be what you've been waiting for. Something is coming. You're gonna need to make a decision. You're gonna need to make a decision. So, oh God, we have the Empress reversed on the bottom. The Empress reversed is A lack of love, a lack of abundance. Not very caring, not very um, loyal. I feel like we have somebody here that doesn't really take care of their their family. They don't take take care of themselves. They don't take take care of their children. We may have we may have a termination here as well. You know, with the Empress reverse, somebody may be terminating something with an individual that doesn't take care of them. We also have a woman here, which is a feminine energy that doesn't have a lot of self-worth. This, this, the Empress in reverse typically doesn't know her value. She doesn't know her worth. 
she uh, may engage herself in affairs or third party situations or with other people because she lacks self love the, and, uh, and allows herself to be taken advantage of because she's needy and clingy. I don't know. There could be loss of a child here as well. I mean, I hate to say that. There, I feel like there is, I do hate to say that. Um, we, have, we have a mother here or a motherly figure that may be experiencing some sort of loss. Um... The Empress reversed. Lack of love. There's a lack of love. There's a lack of self-worth. There's a need to be strong and master your emotions and accept the truth. Do not repeat negative patterns. There could be somebody from the past that is coming back around. This person um, may want to control. You know, they may want to control. That's all they want. They want control. They want to be in a position of power. I feel like we have somebody here that wants a reconciliation, but it's not a good match. It's not a good mix. You know, it's not. It's not. It's over. It's dead. And there's a need to be strong and know your value. And I don't know who that is for. Get prepared, okay? Get prepared to make a judgment call. We also have another story here where we have an individual. I don't know if there's some addictions here with temperance reverse. They've gone overboard. They... Uh, have tried to control the situation. They've been able to control it up until now, but now it's now there's some sort of karma that is coming for them or it's an end, okay? It is a karmic ending, whatever it is. This is the end of something. It's the end. Ugh. Queen of Swords and the Sun card, both upright. They both fell out. So the Queen of Swords delivers truth, delivers authentic truth, speaks the truth, has some sort of information that is very, very truthful and authentic. This could be a, somebody that is in a, position, a professional a per, position. This is a professional of some sort, the Queen of Swords. Um, looks as though she is she has some she has the power she has the truth she has the information this is also the winds of change you see the wind you see that i don't know if you can see it but if you see up there's a little that's the winds winds of change so things are about to change we do have somebody here that is has the sword of truth and has the sword of power this this person is going to be delivering some information this does lead to a new beginning. It does lead to happiness in some way because the sun card is happiness. It is a breakthrough. It is a new day. Um, somebody, this, it may have something to do with a child. We may have, I don't know if somebody is saving, I don't know if they're saving a child. Somebody could be saving a child. It, it may, you know, this could be... Uh, a near-death experience for a child. I mean, I hate to say that where, you know, this whatever has happened may save a child. We can only hope that's the case, right? Anyhow, um, a judgment call is about to be made because you see the child on the sun card, something about a child. This is a, this is a breakthrough. This is a new day. Somebody may be ordered to do something like, because the, 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 the Queen of Swords is in a position of authority. So I feel like we have somebody here that, that is going to be passing judgment on a, I don't know, I feel like it's an individual that is unhealthy, extremely unhealthy. Um, maybe they're going to be going away. I don't know. 
Anyhow, I do believe that there's also somebody here that is going to be delivering some truthful information, very truthful, with judgment in the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords, she's, this is somebody that, it's not about the feelings, it's about the facts. The fact is, you know, it's time to heal. This is a card of healing. It, it's a time to accept, and it's a card of, it's a time of new beginnings. So we do have a happy new beginning here. Somebody's going to be receiving some information or some news. It's actually good news, but I feel like it comes after a serious incident where, you know, somebody has been refusing to accept that something is over, which is interesting. Or they've been refusing to accept help, or there's a near-death experience here. Somebody may have nearly died, and that's what, what causes the change. Um, we definitely have ill health, we have poor health, we have negative repetitive patterns, we have addictions, we, it could be drugs, alcohol, food, whatever it is. I feel like um, there is going to be a need to refrain and there's going to need, there's a need to be strong and uh, get ready to be judged. Somebody is about to be judged for their, and I feel like it's for their their previous actions, I do, for their previous bad behavior. Temperance reverse is bad behavior. It is. And the judgment right next to it that is judged for bad behavior. Somebody may have left somebody for dead even, you know, or, or worse with that death card. That judgment is pointing right at that death card. So, you know, judged for, you know, nearly or whatever. There's some sort of karma that is coming. Get prepared. So whoever it is that has, somebody has done something, they're about to receive some karma. But with that, with that sun card, this is, this is a breakthrough. It is freedom. It is yes. Yes. This is a new life. This is, this is a new life. Yes. You know. This is a life-giving energy. So somebody is, it's almost like a gift. This is a gift of a new life after whatever it is arrives. And it could be literally a person that is arriving. But we do have somebody here that has been refusing to see the truth. And they're probably about to get a wake-up call that shows them the truth. It could be, it may have something to do with a child. There may be news of it. It has to do with a child. I think it has to do with a child. It may not be. It could just have to do with a new beginning. This is a beautiful new beginning, what it is, whatever it is. We definitely have a person here that needs to heal. Temperance, strength, sun. This is, those are all healing energies. There could be a heal, there's, there's some sort of healing that is coming. Get prepared for some sort of awakening. This is the end of something. It is the end of Oh, maybe it's the end of poor health. Maybe it's the end of holding on to the past. We may there's beauty here. There is beauty. There is beauty here. So this is a bright new beginning. So this is the end. It's the end. Making a judgment call. Beautiful, 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 beautiful new beginning with that sun card. So there's something beautiful happening here. This Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, is, is, is the Sun card is a blessing, is receiving some sort of blessing. It's a beautiful blessing. Get prepared for something. Get prepared for some sort of awakening however that resonates with you 
This is some sort of positive change that has been resisted. And that's what I got. Good luck.